Hi everybody, welcome back. This is what a Sky Quad drone looks like when you buy it, or a quadricopter, whatever you think. Um, it's a regular drone, they're all the same. Uh, apparently this particular drone is sold under a whole bunch of different names. I didn't know that when I bought mine. They're about $50 a piece, and they're pretty fragile, but you learn how to fly a drone. That's what I'm trying to do, is learn how to fly. It's pretty basic. Here's the controller. And there's a battery in this here controller already. See the light flashing? It goes, grabs the channel. And I'm gonna put a battery in right now into the drone and I'm gonna do a, a start I'm not gonna launch it of course because I'm in the rec room here okay it's a lot to get it ready you push it up and down I want to see the propellers I'll push the down button see if I push the um, button here it'll take out I'll hold it down and show you that so it does fly it's some function see there now I turned it off now what I have over here is another drone I'll turn this off. I want to take it fly away on me. And this is the one I had that broke a motor. So what I'm going to do today is turn this upside down and take a motor out, okay? And this thing comes with a bag of tools and a bag of spare parts when you get it. I guess they figure you're going to break a propeller. But what I need, I think, is a whole motor. I tried replacing the motor and it didn't work too well. So I'm going to zoom in on this motor here. I'm going to take this motor out right there and show you what's in there, okay? First, I'm going to peel off the propeller protector. I don't need that. That comes off pretty neat. And I'm going to try and get a a better shot. I'm going to zoom in as tight as I can. Okay, so just hang on and see how close I can get. And I can put the screwdriver in here. And it's a little Phillips screwdriver. Phillips is the one with the star. And it works pretty good because I took the one in the back out. So there's three screws here. I'm going to show you what the motor looks like and what the gears look like. Okay, I had a hard job getting the propeller back on. I took one propeller off. I was going to change it with another propeller because it kind of had some roughed edges from hitting a tree. And I couldn't get it back on, but it didn't matter. The motor was gone anyway. The motor back on this side here. See, I got it. The motor's gone. I want to show you what it looks like. Okay, so it's pretty cool. Okay, I'm taking these three screws out here, but I forgot to take the propeller off first. So give me a second. I'm going to turn this over. I have to get the third screw and take the prop off. So only one screw for that too. Okay, so this is what's what's inside okay this propeller is pretty beat up as you can see it's all scratched up from various axes we had so now we had like i said four of these and we lost or destroyed three and we have one left the one i just showed just left see that just pulls off and there's kind of a keyway on there it's kind of a a notch you can see the notch on the motor watch see if i can show you okay see the notches it goes a flat on both sides now i've already taken the three screws out i'm gonna take the screw up back here too and show you what that looks like. Now, I hope you're watching this video. I hope you like what you're seeing here. It's not that hard. And the hard part is determining if you can fix it or not, okay? So I'm gonna take this up here, and there is the gear that the propeller is attached to. I'm gonna pull that up. Push it out. There. Now there's the gear. See, the gear looks good. I already checked one before um, that I thought was gone. Let's see if you can see the teeth. They're all there, all the teeth. This gear, this gear is good. Nothing wrong with that gear. Okay, see what I mean? Now the other gear is on the motor. Now if I peel that back, the motor actually slides in into that piece that was right there. Look, that's right here. Let's pick that up again. Okay, now I'm going to peel this part off. And here's the motor, look. That's all there is to the motor in here. This tiny little... I'm going to pull this out of the way. It's, it's no good anyway, so I'm just going to bend it back. The wires go back to the inside. Now this motor here, the gears look great on. Wait, now, there it is there. The gears look really good. See what I mean? Not, not that motor at all, but I don't know if this is a brushless motor or not. Someone can tell me in the comments. There's two types of motors on drones, brushless and brushed motors. So as far as I'm going to go today, guys, I want to show you this one motor. And if I had a pair of pliers, I'd cut it off and show you, but I do have a blade. I'm just going to cut the wires. There, there's the motor. I could probably take that apart if I wanted to peel out the back pins and show you what's inside the motor. Maybe that's another video. If you like this video, hit the like button. And there's the camera. See it? This was a good camera. The other ones were like um, 3, 380 or something. This here's a 4K camera. Really good videos come off of this year, here one here, this year drone. So maybe next video I'll take these screws out here and pull the bottom off and show you what's actually inside there. I just want to show you the motor. There's a motor. Where'd the other gear go? Right here. And that does this here. Spins this around. And there's a propeller that fits on top of the post. Right there. See that? That's pretty cool. They're good props too. 
they work pretty good. Okay, anyway, that's a video of what's inside the propeller wing of the Sky Quad drone. If you have a drone and you built them, they probably all look alike in there. I have no idea. This is my first time. But thanks for watching, and I hope you come back and watch more of our videos. We're going to get two more drones coming in. We'll have them out uh, shortly, trying to figure out how to fly them. We're getting there, though. Thanks again.